This is CCTN, the Capital City Television Network. <laughs> and all is very peaceful and quiet here in Capital City. Are you ready, Miss Gore? I'm ready. <gasps> it can't be. This doesn't look good. Good? The maximizing inducer has ignited the core destabilizer and fused with the valve giganticizer. What does that mean? Oh, how should I know? I'm a director, not a scientist. I'm lucky I was able to make monsters at all with this thing. Hmm. Klaus, could this be the problem? Capital City Animatronics Incorporated, Stupendous Studios, 1958. Huh? Maybe you could... Give me that. <sighs> Where are you going? Oh, to the Capital City Animatronics Corporation. <laughs> what, now? Oh, well, Miss Gore, when you're building gigantic creatures to terrorize a city that's turned its back on you, there's no time to lose. <laughs> now, as long as I have my original plans... Uh, uh, what is this? It's nothing. It's just something I'm reading. Alien zombie from planet Xenom? <laughs> it's trash! Trash? It's not trash. It's adventure. <laughs> Never girl could use a little adventure in her life. Oh, an adventure you shall have, my dear. As soon as I'm finished with my latest creation, I shouldn't be long. Remember, don't touch this machine, Miss Gore, because without this, who knows what it will do? Don't touch. He's forgetting that I'm a certified electrical engineer and he's just a movie director. In fact... I'm willing to bet that... This could be a problem. I make the monsters big. Don't you think it's too bad that Dink Dormans doesn't have anything to report these days? Oh, it wouldn't feel too bad. Well, if falls quiet in Capital City, doesn't that mean we're doing our job? Alien zombie from planet Xenom. <laughs> Alien zombie from planet Xenom. Just a little bigger. <laughs> memory serves me correctly. In the comic book, the alien goes out and destroys an entire city before it comes back and destroys its creators. Its creators. I've got to stop this alien.
investigation, comedians, comic books. Krieger's Monster Rental? Krieger's Monster Rentals, Krieger speaking. Have you got Alien Zombie from Planet Xenom? Alien Zombie from Planet Xenom? It's the hottest comic book on the market right now. You have to tell me. How does it end? How does it end? Wouldn't you want to read that for yourself? Well, yeah, but my copy was ruined. Well, sure, I guess if your copy got destroyed, I can tell you. Page 78. Here it is. The alien is finally defeated by some very super cool looking weapons. That sounds very spicy. They look kind of like bazookas crossed with toilet plungers, if you can picture that. Hello? Where am I going to find weapons like that? I know this may sound super paranoid, but someone or something is following me. What do you mean, following? Following. When I came out of the sales office in the pipe yard, I had this sense that there was someone behind me. When I rode out of there, I was sure of it. All the way here, I knew it. But did you see anyone? Hear anyone? Encounter anyone? Guys, this is me. I don't need to see anyone, hear anyone, or encounter anyone. I just know. OK, let's check it out. Okay, so where'd you see whoever was following you? I already told you, I didn't see anybody. You mean you felt someone then? I didn't feel someone anywhere. I just knew I was being watched. Well, it had to be coming from somewhere. You get this, right? It's a girl thing. Okay. Well, let's spread out and see what we can see. Antonio and I will check out this side, and you guys check out over there. I mean, if you felt you were being followed, then I'm sure you are being followed. Must be a girl thing. Guys, don't get it. Never will. It's insulated. Could be the wrapping off of something very mundane, like a digital battery. Check this out, though. Looks phosphorescent. Either that or... I know that's a foot. Which means? We back up. We very slowly back up. What's with the guys? from his fingertips. Now you want specifics? We've got a problem here, guys. This guy's mean, and we're unarmed. Tabby's right. We gotta get to the monster car, back to the HQ, and get our weapons. I'll be the diversion. Get going. Back up! No, she knows what she's doing. Come on, come on. OK, you green-skinned, big-headed blob of goo from another planet. You want tough? Let's see you stand up to my ancient Tibetan mind-melding chant. new weapons fast as you can say holy missing weapons but they were right here look i and our vacuum packs are gone too but how someone's been in here the door's unlocked guys there's a big green alien guy in the loose who could do a lot of damage to capital city and we have no weapons which means we've got trouble monster trouble <laughs> 
Yes, sir, folks, it's Dink Dorman offering up the Dink Dorman Challenge. If you know of a big story breaking, call this number. It's my personal cell phone. And if you're lucky enough to be the winner of the Dink Dorman News Challenge, you'll win this. A Dink Dorman T-shirt. Yes, sir, folks, this is CCTN, and it's still peaceful in Capital City. No. 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 So you're saying that Klaus von Steinhauer has never made a movie about aliens? Don't get me wrong. He's made a lot of different monsters, some we haven't even been able to catalog yet. But the creature you're talking about? Never. Maybe I'm not explaining this right. He's a big dude, uh, really green. Krieger's right. Klaus didn't create it. It's right here. You're the second person to ask me about that new comic book. Someone called earlier. Alien zombie from the planet Xenon. I could barely keep it on the shelves, it's so popular. But why would Klaus make a creature from someone else's design? Unless he didn't. Unless someone else did. It is another feeling, is it? No. It's about a phone call. You said someone else called? Yeah. It was a weird phone call at that. All she wanted to know was how the creature was destroyed in the end. When I told her, she said she needed weapons and hung up. The person who broke into the HQ. Could be. Look, Krieger, it's crucial that you remember anything you can about who this woman was. Well, something she said that stuck out was... was she said the alien zombie was very spicy. Now, I assume she was talking about the comic book, but maybe... Thanks, Krieger. Look, guys, if we're gonna get our weapons back, we gotta find that girl who called Krieger. And if she's hunting the alien, the only place we know we might find her... is back at the pipe yard. Well, looks like whether we're ready or not, it's monster time. So be careful. Shh. Listen. Sounds like someone running machinery. But it's after hours. The pipe yard's closed. Look. This is weird. It looks to me like someone's been trying to build an engine. The sound's coming from over there. problem than weapons. What is it? The fact that this creature's building anything it means it can think. And if it can think, then it's like no other creature we've ever encountered before. But it did attack us earlier. Well, maybe it wasn't attacking. Maybe it was defending. Defending what? We've got company. Looks like our mystery woman got to the party before us. Antonio! I think I know what happened to our weapons. She's about to fire one at the alien! Get down! <laughs> Tabby, Antonio, you go after the alien. Funk and I will disarm our friend. But remember, don't engage. Me too. Maybe. Ah! <laughs> you go around the other side. Okay. No, 
no one here. Mr. Alien, we really don't want to harm you. We just, we want to figure out, well, what you've been building. See, I personally want to know because... So that's what you were building. <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Hey. I am okay. But I could have sworn my leg was broken and... and... my ribs. But how is this? He's gone. Around the other side! It's a flying saucer. How can a fictitious character go back to a fictitious planet in a real spaceship? In Capital City? Anything can happen. I got it! I've got it! Dink Dorman? I've been following Vonka since the first time she came here. This is just the story I need to keep my job. What a scoop! Warriors aided by mysterious... Blonde woman. So you know about the alien, the spaceship, everything? Aliens? Spaceship. <laughs> All I know is that some mysterious blonde woman's been following you around using your weapon, so I figure she must be working with you. <laughs> is there something about an alien and a spaceship that I missed? No, no. <laughs> Aliens, no, not at all. Uh, but we would like to see a picture of the blonde woman if you have it. Absolutely. Right here. Well, <clears throat> don't always need visuals to tell a, a big story. I gotta go, okay? You guys, you know, the saving and, and stuff. And you're great. Keep it on, okay? What a scoop. You know, there's a good chance he might actually run that story. Well, it might not be bad if he does. What do you mean? Well, maybe somebody will offer us some information about this blonde woman. Because I have a feeling she's connected to this in a way we can't even imagine. That's right, folks. Dink Dorman continuing with this latest breaking story about the mystery fifth monster warrior. All of Capital City is asking the same question. Are the monster warriors taking applications? Can I be a monster I'm warrior? Home. Can you be a monster warrior? It took a whole day and a trip to the wasteland, but I finally found the part I needed to fix my monster-making device. <laughs> Did anything happen while I was away? Not a thing, Klaus. Not a thing. No, ma'am, we don't discriminate based on age. It's just that, well, when you're over 70... It... Hello? I guess we'll put that in the senior citizen category. We've had four septuagenarian calls today, you know? Which means we've had more than 30 calls in total. Well, we can thank Dink Dorman for that. Tabby speaking. Yes, this is Monster HQ. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. More I calls? Really it. Yep. Tabby thinks we should send them all thank you cards for their interest, See, even though we're not taking anybody else on. Well, then one of those cards should probably be addressed to the Capital City Electrical Power Building. What do you mean? 
Whoever that blonde woman was, I've searched everywhere with no trace of her. Then I found this, down at the pipe yard next to the rest of the rubble. This looks like fabric from a capital city electrical worker's uniform. That's why I went down to the electrical no, building. I'm Turns out, sad. it is fabric from a capital city electrical worker's uniform. No. So you think that... That our mysterious blonde helper could indeed be a capital city worker. But then if she has a connection to Von Steinhauer, that means Von Steinhauer has access to all the power sources throughout Capital City. Which means... She hung up. Who? The woman on the phone. She was telling me how she didn't want to be a monster warrior, but she did want to tell me how grateful she was. And then when I asked who she was, she hung up on me. Did she say anything else? Well, she said that we were spicy. Whatever that means.